cut your coat according to your size and just go the way you ought to go is it compulsory that we must uh, we, we must ride mercedes benz on the day of wedding what's the use riding mercedes benz on the day of wedding and after two days i'm coming to the bible study i go back to the boss again and then they push me i push them and uh, today is Monday, just uh, two days ago, uh, during the time of marriage, I was in the Mercedes. I was in the Volvo. But now, I am in Molue. So, cut your coat according to your size. Whatever you are able to afford, do it. Let your moderation be known unto all men. You know, sometimes, uh, the way things are now in the country, to have a really good suit, it will a large amount of money. But if it is the normal native dress you are able to wear, which will not cost, you don't want to spend all your money. Because after the marriage, immediately you come, you have that wedding. That lady will like to know uh, where is the food stuff we're going to eat. But you know, we go to borrow money to have that wedding. And we go to borrow money to buy the clothing. We didn't cut our coats according to our sizes. And eventually, one week after the marriage, the people that lent us money, they are coming to ask us, I about the money now. Marriage has finished. I about my money. And your wife began to say, what money is that? Ah, don't you know? As people were drinking Fanta that Saturday, you think it was for joke? I borrowed the money. That's not good. Whatever you are able to do, do it moderately. That's why those who have the money, those who are rich, they should not be extravagant too, so that they do not mislead the other people that do not have too much, so that they do not get into unnecessary debt. Be joyful on the day of the wedding ceremony. It's a day of joy. Be happy on the day of wedding ceremony. It's a day of happiness. And of course, relax. Be happy. And of course, it takes little money. But don't spend all the money that you have. Let your moderation be known unto all men. I do not mean that you will wear the clothes you have been wearing for five years before. Everything now is shabby. And then you appear before the marriage altar as if you are not happy. As if somebody is dragging you and pulling you. You need to even remember to polish your shoe before you got for, went for that uh, marriage ceremony. And people look at you and they said, are they forcing him? Is it compulsory for him? Why didn't he come to have the marriage? On the day he will be happy. So you must be happy. It is compulsory to be happy on the wedding day. Lest they will think it's the church that is forcing you to marry. But on the other hand, be happy but not extravagant. Be joyful but let your moderation be known unto all men. Be neat, be well dressed because it's a wonderful day in your life. Be well dressed, be your best, but do not go into debt.